Welcome to our video about St. Patrick's Day celebrations in the town of Culpeper. This Irish holiday is celebrated worldwide with themed festivities and lots of fun. Here in Culpeper, several local businesses and organizations have prepared a series of activities to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Let's take a look at some of them and get ready for lots of music, dancing, races, treasure hunts, and of course, green beer. This weekend in Culpeper, there will be a variety of St. Patrick's Day activities for everyone to enjoy, bringing the luck of the Irish to the town. The events include bagpipes, Irish dance performances, gold hunts, races, live music, green beer, and special menus. In addition, visitors will have the opportunity to participate in a guided tour of the Battle of Kelly's Ford, which took place 160 years ago. This battle was an important moment in the U.S. Cavalry's ability to defeat Confederate forces during the Civil War, although it is often overshadowed by the Battle of Brandy Station. The event is sponsored by several organizations, including the American Battlefield Trust, Culpeper Battlefield Tours, Museum of Culpeper History, Culpeper Tourism, and the Brandy Station Foundation. The guided tour is sold out. So be sure to check out the other exciting St. Patrick's Day activities Culpeper has to offer. During the Civil War, Major John Pelham, a native of Culpeper, tragically passed away while riding out to a battle after spending time with some women in town. Despite his untimely death, Pelham's heroic deeds and celebrity status earned him the honor of having the town reservoir named after him, which has since been renamed Lake Culpeper. Dan Davis, a representative of the American Battlefield Trust, and John Christensen, the director of the Museum of Culpeper History, will be leading a guided tour of the battlefield. The tour will last for three hours and will cover various sites on the battlefield. It will start at 10 a.m. from the Graffiti House located in Brandy Station. The town of Culpeper is organizing a St. Patrick's Day event on Kelly Street, which is a fundraiser for the Kelly Street Boxing Club. The event, organized by John Russell, will be held from noon to 4 p.m. and will kick off with a parade featuring bagpipes and children. The event will also feature Irish dancers and singers on stage at 1 p.m. followed by a contest for redheads called the King and Queen Ginger Contest at 2 p.m. At 3 p.m., there will be a treasure hunt for real gold for the children. Tickets for adults can be purchased for $10 on Eventbrite while children aged 12 and below can attend for free. If you're looking to warm up for the St. Patrick's Day weekend, the Blue Devils Athletic Boosters Club is hosting the Gold Rush 5K and Kids Sprint event at 7.30 a.m. on Saturday on the Cross Country Course at Culpeper County High School. Local businesses are sponsoring the event, which aims to benefit the CCHS Athletic Department and athletes. Registration will begin at 6.30 a.m. on site. Several local businesses and organizations in the area are planning events to celebrate his team. Patrick's Day Winmore Foundation for the Arts at the State Theater will host a craft time event with themed snacks today from noon to 4 p.m. Tonight from 5 to 7 p.m., Fargon Brewery on Southeast Street will hold a St. Patty's Day social run. Participants will join a 3 to 6 mile run followed by food, green beer, and live music from the Blue Bottleneck Band at 7 p.m. Deja Vu will perform live at Old Trade Brewery and Cidery in Brandy Station from 6 to 9 p.m. tonight for St. Patrick's Day. Additionally, the Culpepper Eagles Club will be hosting a potluck at 7 p.m. with an open mic jamboree where attendees can bring their own dish and instruments to play. Death Ridge Brewery in Jeffersonton will also be celebrating St. Patty's Day today with a special menu starting at noon. Say What Again Band will be performing live music at 5.30 p.m. and customers who find a gold coin on their cup will receive a free pint.